bless you, amen. I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed this morning. Late in the midnight hour, he going to turn things around. Amen. Oh, he's turned some stuff around for me. How many God has turned some stuff around for you? Oh, has God turned some stuff around for you? Oh, late in the midnight hour. I'm, I'm ready now. I'm ready. Late in the midnight hour. Andre, I'm ready. Andre told me don't dare try to sing. But that's okay, Andre. Late in the midnight hour. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Amen. You're watching Miracle Temple Church of Deliverance, located at 601 West Solace Brown Street, where the pastor is Dr. T.J. Calhoun. You're at the right place this morning at the right time. You're at the right place this morning at the right time. If you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time, you can be at the right place at the right time. Come on, shout out loud. I'm at the right place this morning. Come on, I'm at the right place this morning. I'm at the right place this morning. Amen. Amen. I'm at the right place this morning. Amen. Amen. God bless you this morning. God bless you. We praise the Lord for our man of God who teaches us the true word of the Lord. I know you pray for pastors. He pray for you. Let's pray one. Let's pray one. We praise the Lord for our man of God this morning. Amen. God bless Mother Amos. God bless you this morning. Mother Mother uh, Georgia Jones, God bless you. Amen. M Mother Mother Carolyn Calhoun, God bless her. Amen. 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 We miss Mother Jones, and we're praying for her family. Amen. Wasn't it just a beautiful funeral? Just very peaceful. Amen. Just very peaceful. I just, I just you know, when the saints go, when the saints go, it just should be peaceful. It, that's what should happen. If everybody done what they need to do, it just be peaceful. I know that's right. I know it. Amen. Amen. When the saints go, we're gonna see Mother Jones again. Like Mona said, but I don't want to see you right now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I'm not, I don't plan to see you right now, Mother Jones. But but someday, by and by, I know that's right. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. It's a blessing from the Lord to be here. Come on. How many blessed people we have this morning? Come on. How many blessed people we have this morning? Come on. I'm blessed this morning. Come on. I'm blessed this morning. I am blessed this morning. Amen. Amen. God bless you. If, 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 ushers, if you would if, if visitors card, if there's some visitors cards in the back back there, make sure people get it. And and um and then if there's a space on say how, how did you come when if they if you invited them they should put your name down on the visitors card amen and and, and what happens is they drop it in the basket offering basket at the end of church and then we we get those cards amen and we we should try to be in contact with our visitors also we want to engage them amen Amen. Come on, touch somebody and say, I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed this morning. I, 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 it's good to see our second Sunday, second Sunday, isn't it? We, we wear our shirts, and, and we got new shirts being ordered. That you're going to be really, I think, happy with the new shirts being ordered. Now, now you need to make sure that Sister Evelyn know your size now. Cause, and don't you be sitting here saying that you're a medium if you ask the Lord. Then you complain about the shirt don't fit. The devil is a lie. You know what size you were. Uh, I, I guess I gained some weight during the process. It was only a two-week process. Don't you be acting like that. The devil is a lie. Tell somebody the devil is a lie. I, I know how the saints are. They be sitting here talking about I'm a small, and you know you're a, a, a big small. <laughs> so you cannot be sitting here happy, <laughs> trying, to, trying to get you a small. Now, we need the size you are not right now, not the size that you want to be. I know we're praying for you to lose weight and all that type of stuff. But, David, don't we need the size they are right now? Huh? Yeah. Mona, we need the size. You know, you may have to sit here and be like one of them. Maybe you may not need that size. You may need another size. You ain't got embarrassing, but you can kind of say it kind of quietly like, because you know, and then first thing they'll be seeing, Sister, Sister Lord, they'll be like, these shirts don't fit. No, they didn't ever fit, because they wasn't going to ever fit you. 
They, they fit you when you was 10. <laughs> I'm just, come on, man. you know, you got to be real with the saints, amen? You got to keep it real with the saints. Now, I'm just telling you right now, I know the saints. I, I grew up with the saints. I know that's right. You know, you know. Come on, tell somebody. You know the saints. You know the saints. Amen. They, they, they embarrassed to tell somebody their size. Then they did here. Y'all, you're going to pay for that shirt, so you need to be able to wear that shirt. I know it. When they come back in, you need to be able to wear it. I know it. Amen. Hey, God bless you. Amen. Tell the truth is but the truth. I know it. It's the truth is the truth. Amen. We're getting ready for September 24th is Pastor Appreciation. September 24th is Pastor Appreciation. We're just going to have just a wonderful time. Amen. Amen. We, 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 are, we, are, we are glad to have our pastor. I know he's been our pastor. He's the only pastor some of us know for, for all of these years has been pastor. Amen. He's been pastor for more than 60, 60, 61, 62 years plus. Amen. And so we're going to just really appreciate our pastor on the uh, the, 20, the 24th. That's the, the 24th is... Is that the fourth Sunday? Fourth Sunday. Fourth, fourth Sunday at uh, three o'clock. We say to our pastor, we appreciate you. Amen. Come on, look at somebody and say, God is so good. Come on, come on. He's so good. Come on, tell somebody he's good to me right now. Come on, he's blessing me right now. Come on, come on. He's blessing me right now. Come on, tell somebody he's blessing me right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tell me, I'm expecting something good to happen to me this week. Come on, I'm expecting something good to happen to me this week. Oh, I guess, I guess, I guess only one or two of us, listen, listen, when you have what you say, the Bible said death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death and life is in the tongue. You have not because you ask not. And, and, and what happens is when you say it, God send angels out because you're saying what the word of God is saying. Eh? And angels go to work to bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, let the weak say I am strong. Come on, let the weak say I am strong. You, you, you may not have a dime in your pocket. You need to say I'm rich this morning. Because he came, he became poor that I may be rich in all things. Come on, tell him, I am rich this morning. I don't care what your situation is, say I am rich this morning. Come on, I am rich this morning. Come, oh, you, I know somebody looking at me and saying, but John, you don't know your circumstance. But you don't know our God then. Apparently you don't know our God. The Bible said he became rich, he became poor that we may be rich in all things. Either you're going to believe the word of God or not believe the word of God. Say, I am rich this morning. Come on, come on and scream out, I am rich this morning. Come on, come on, I am rich this morning. Come on, all of my needs are already met. Come on, they met this morning, they met, they met. My knees are already met. The Bible said. See, sometimes, sometimes we're blocking our blessings by what we've been saying. We've been hearing what the word of God is saying, and you're trying to wait till it happen. Now you're gonna make it happen with your mouth. You about to speak it to existence. We're made in the image of God. And how did God form everything? He spoke it. We're made in his image. Amen. Watch your tongue this week. Watch your tongue this week. Tell somebody, watch what you say this week. Watch what you say this week. Let's have a good confession around here. Amen. I, I, I mean, uh, you're strong this morning. Every hand should be up. Your every hand should be up. Because you have what you. Come on and shout out loud. I am strong this morning. 
I am rich this morning. I am well able this morning. I'm well able this morning. I have favor in my life. I have favor in my life. People are going out of their way to bless me. Come on, tell somebody. People are going out of their way. Hold on. You, you, you're out noising me this morning. I got to hear my confession today. You out noising me. They compete with me this morning. They just want to compete. I, I, know. I want to hear my confession this morning because it may be to me this morning. I be riding out and don't be having no music on none. I just be hearing me, what's called, be talking to the Lord. Come on, tell somebody, I'm, I'm strong this morning. I'm well able. I'm well able. Men are looking for me. They're looking for ways to bless me. Come on, they may call me. They may write me. They may send me an email. They may send me a fax. But they're going to find me. Come on, tell them I'm well able. I am rich. Come on, I am rich. I am rich. He said, Jumbo, you don't know my circumstances. I don't care about your circumstance. I know my God this morning. You know, one, one idea can change your life. A lost, lost relative can have a check in the mail for you in the morning. The government can owe you some money. Anything can happen. You got to trust God. It's time to trust God. Amen. Come on, I trust God. I really do trust God. When I didn't have, a, when I didn't have absolutely nothing, I was sitting here saying I was rich. Oh, when I didn't have nothing. And I was saying, I'm rich. I'm well able. Now people go all out their way to sit here and, and, and open doors for us. Because I know that I have what I... And if, if, if the pastor can preach the word of God about faith, but if you don't put it to practice, he's just preaching every Sunday. It's time to put the word to practice. Amen? 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 Amen. Uh, tithes and offering. You want to give, give a fine. Many of you give online. Give online already. So on tithes and offering. On first Sunday and third Sunday. When we get up, you, just, you can get up on up too because you've already given online. Amen. You've already given. Amen. And you just pass us touching and agreeing. And we're just touching and agreeing with you what's going to happen. How many, how many believe God right now? Come in, how many believe God? Amen? Tell, them, tell somebody something good is going to happen to me this week. I'm getting good news. I'm expecting good news. Come on, I'm expecting good news. I'm expecting good news. And let, me, let me just fuss just for a minute, and then they're going to come. Bring your children to Sunday school. Bring, bring them to Sunday school. You know, we get our children up for, for regular school and make sure they don't miss the bus and make sure, you know, and this and that. But what we say to our children when we don't do bring them and this and that is that we really, Sunday school is not a priority. School is, but Sunday school ain't. God is a priority. He's a jealous God. He's a jealous God. When you don't bring them to Sunday school, and something, maybe it's just something they said in Sunday school. Let me just say this. You know, when well, two or three are gathered together, he said, I'm in the midst. I, and, 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 and Brother Andre, we read it. The healing that you want for that child, that child may have some learning disability, but by you being obedient and bringing them to Sunday school, that healing could be in Sunday school. You don't hear me this morning. Healing could be anywhere that you're supposed to be. You'll never be, you'll never be happy if you're in a place that you're not supposed to be at. You know, you're trying to be happy and you're in some bad relationships that you weren't supposed to be at in the first place. And thinking that that relationship is going to make you happy. You weren't supposed to be there. 
I'm just saying, bring your children to Sunday school. They could hear something, experience something that could save their life. Or they could get the miracle that they want from God. I know it may mean that you get up a little bit earlier, but isn't that worth it? Think about how many times you're going to make a trip to the school. And that's time. But if they're hearing what the word says, hearing what the word says, the Bible says, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Well, let's worship the Lord. <clears throat> Come on, put your hands together. Let's bless the Lord. Look at your neighbor and tell him, I love the Lord more than anything. Come on, come on and praise him. Come on and let's brush the blood on him.
glory. Wonderful Lord, wonderful Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. That's getting good over there, boy. It's getting good. It's getting good. Hey. That's my music. Jesus. Let us pray. Oh my God, we thank you for your blessing, your kindness and love and tender compassion. One more day, Lord, we thank you for bringing us back to the house of God. Look on every soul that's here today and bless them we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may have your seat if you possibly can. That good music, you almost came. Amen. But God is so good. Amen. We thank God for his goodness and mercy, kindness, love, how good God is. Amen. You know, you had to thank God for his goodness, for sparing us, can you say amen? How God kept us and blessed us and still got us home to go to a apartment to go to a amen still got a praise to lay your head thank God for his blessings amen thank God amen pray for the, those that came out to Mother Jones amen amen God really blessed can you say amen again we thank God for it amen Amen. Somebody said a lot of folks was here on Wednesday. But God is so good to us. Amen. And they're not finished yet. 996,281 people came. That's all already, but they ain't too. Almost a million people. Amen. We're watching that funeral. Around the four corners of the earth, can you say amen? That's good, eh? That's good, praise God. Amen. Abel's testimony. Amen. Amen. With 357,781. 300,000 people watched the testimony. That's good. We're going to get that DJ. We're going to get it. <laughs> Amen. Prayer call. Prayer call is still good. 800. Turn around. 881,986 people. Going to be praying with us. New folk. Amen. You never know, thought you'd be praying with a million folks at one time. And let's stand with this one, can you say amen? God is so good to us. God has been good this year. Huh? Amen. God has been good. On last week, People watch us. Let's give God a big hand already. Come on, y'all. Thank God. Thank God. 
16 million people around the world. 16 million. Wow. Come on. <laughs> Amen. 16 million folks watching Milka Temple. Let us pray. God, let's bless those, bless those people around the four corners of the earth. Bless them in every way of life. We ask you to do it in the name of Jesus. Bless them in special ways, their home, their job. Bless them, oh God. Oh God, both spiritual and financially. Give special miracles, we ask. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give the Lord a great big hand. Wow. Oh, Lord. I tell you, amen, this thing getting good. You know, the brother just coming out so you know, sad night, you know what I'm saying? The good, good, good. God is good to me. And God is so good to us, amen. God is so good. God is good to us, folks. And, and we need faith. We need to exercise our faith in God. Faith come out of the word of God. You got to always remember that. And, I, and I, I'm thinking, a lot of times we want people don't have faith because they don't believe the word of God. See, you got to not only have, amen, you got to believe the word of God. Amen. Amen. Believe the word. You know, a lot of time, more time, we try to stick, spend our time picking out the word, trying to explain the word. But the Bible said, faith come by hearing, hearing come by the word. Right? And, the, and I thought about it, and I'm up praying, I'm thinking, people have faith in it, and it can't be. Why a lot of times we don't have faith? It because I said we don't believe the word of God. A lot of times we are in the word of God and yet we don't believe it. Huh. The word of God explains itself. Self, if you say self explaining You really don't have to explain it. Just say it like it is. Huh. Amen. You don't have to protect it like a lion let out the cage. You protect yourself. In the book of John, and like most times, you know, I thought, I thought, I y'all mean that. People today is the same as they were in the 60s. I, I tried to figure it out what made them. You know what? Why they changed. Churches change. Preachers change. They start preaching about Jesus and the Holy Ghost. And that was making them mad. They weren't mad about folks saying Holy Spirit. They got mad when you start talking about the Holy Ghost and Jesus. And they still get mad you know, talking about the Holy Ghost Jesus. Churches compromise, plead the folks. They start calling him Holy Spirit. Just said Holy, G uh, Holy Ghost. That, that can kind of make the churches and the members feel good. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. You go talk about Holy Ghost now, don't say any folks get mad now. Holy Ghost. Let's go talk about Holy Ghost. And I'm supposed to, amen, cuss you out. I know I got the Holy Spirit. <laughs> but he said, Holy Ghost, with everything speaking in tongues. Tongues go with the Holy Ghost. I'm like, amen, I want a little common lesson today. The reason why people don't have faith. And, and don't, 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 don't argue with me, just believe the word. Can't say man. 
in, the, in John, the fifth chapter, second, uh, first chapter. First John, this is way over there. Who there believing that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Who there believe that Jesus what? The Christ. And everyone that loveth him is begotten. Loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God. God. And keep his commandment. Love God do what? Keep his commandment. But this is the love of God that we keep his commandment. And his commandments are not greedy. Huh? <laughs> Amen. For whosoever is born of God overcome the world. Overcome the what? And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. You what I faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Now I know y'all gonna look at me for him, try to explain who he is. He's the Son of God. He has that. <laughs> Uh, he said, Son of God. Let that soak in. So you need to think about that. Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. In other words, it means he had a father. Amen. Yeah, believe me that Jesus is the Son of God. This is he that cometh by water and blood. Even Jesus cried, not by water only. Y'all got it? But by water and blood. And this is the spirit that bears witness. Because spirit is true. All right. There are three that bear record in hell. The Father, the Word, which is Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. Three bad records. That three sound good, though. It don't, it don't sound good. Most folks, are you try to explain it. I ain't going to explain it. I'm going to believe it. That's what he said, didn't he? Believe the word of God. Don't try to explain this. You just go to believe it. Now, if you want to know how much power you got in your house, look on and see how many wires you got. When you look up down in your house and you got one wire, you don't have no one wire. Two wires, that's 120. But to have full power, you got that three wide. Uh oh. Two twenty. That's it. That means you have full power. Three wide. Uh oh. Hey, Amen. Don't y'all get up and run out now. Ain't through yet. There are three that that wreck in heaven the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost. These three are one. And there are three that bad witness in the earth. Spirit, the water, blood. And these three agree in one. If we have the witness of men, with the men, you have the witness of men, the man tell you something, tell you you got a son. You believe him, right? That's what he said. We 
with the men. The witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he has testified of his son. Test about what? His son. Say, so God tells about it. What do you all I tell about I got a son. But you all got it. You all believe me, aren't you? That's the way that you have plans I can tell you. If, it, if I tell you all I got a son, you all don't believe I got a son. Huh? And that's why I have, we, why we have faith and we, why we don't have faith because a lot of times we don't believe the word. Now we're going to try to explain what this means and God has already told you what it means. Huh? You told you, amen, God is testified of his son. Then we won't say that. He that believed on the son of God. Son of God has the witness in himself. If you believe on the Son of God, you have the witness in yourself. And this is why a lot of times we don't have no faith because a lot of times we don't believe the word. You have the witness in yourself. Well, praise God. Amen. He that believed on the Son of God had the witness in himself. He that believes not God has made him a liar. So then how are you going to have faith if you don't believe God? You may call God a liar. Huh. A lot of times we wonder why I don't have faith. You don't have faith because you ain't believing the word. Amen. Don't call me no wonder, don't call me nothing. I would just believe the word of God. And that's why I have faith. I believe the word. Amen. 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 And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. See, record. God gave us eternal life. Now, eternal life, and then the son. This is the record that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. That's, that, that's the plain I can make. This life, eternal life. Going to hell when it's in the sun. Hey Amen. Well. Hey Amen. And it's like <laughs> and, and he had given what he had. He had wait a minute. He had had the son has life. And he has had not the Son of God, has not life. So if you don't have the Son of God, you don't have life. Son of God. And that's why a lot of times we try to, oh my God, let me explain this. What you need to explain? He done told you, playing the Son of God. That's who he is. He's the Son. It has the son has life. He had not the son has not the son of God had not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. Believe on the name of who? The Son of God. That why they have faith. And God, have faith in the word. Faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So you got to believe the word of God. And I said, I get confused. Like the word is confused. Man, hey, hey, man, trying to explain the word probably had been the, one of the best seminaries. 
trying to explain who Jesus is. He's some God. You don't explain it. He's some God. You don't need to explain it. He told you what. I was saying that the Holy Ghost should come for her and that holy thing which she should be, it should be the Son of God. That's all the way it said. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. You want to say praise God? Amen. We don't want to pray, praise God. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that he might know that he have eternal life. That you might know you have eternal life. Isn't that amazing? Praise God. And that he might believe on the name of the Son of God. Come on and believe it. On who? The name of the Son of God. Amen. Praise God. The name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he has us. Ask anything according to his will, he hears us. That's the act called you believe in the word of God. You come to my house, I argue with me, they ain't no your son, they ain't your son. You got to have a daddy somewhere. <laughs> Better be my son. But it's true. You don't have to explain these this stuff that we're talking about. People argue about a lot of stuff, spend a lot of time arguing over something they don't need to explain. Every time you see a son, you know he got a daddy somewhere. It wouldn't be you to name son if you didn't have a daddy hanging around somewhere. He may not be old, no good daddy. Sorry, Daddy, try for Daddy, but you sure going to have a daddy. Because a son can't make, a, make, it, make himself a son. Somebody got to make him a son. Amen? That makes good sense, don't it? Amen? I know we, that's why we don't have faith, because we just don't believe simply the word of God. Just simply believe the word of God. Amen? So this is a petition that we have and this is the confidence we have that if we ask any day according to his will, he hears us. And we know that he hears us. No, just no. See how you, how you got to get this thing together. You know how you, well, you just have to believe the word. And you, you know he hears you. Huh. Know that God hears your prayer. And if we know that he hears us, what's that we ask? We know that we have the petition that we desire of him. We have it. Now, if you know that he hears you, you know you have a petition to desire of him. And that's what faith is all about, folks. This is what faith, faith is the word of God. Faith is believing the word of God. And this is why a lot of times people just, amen, they don't have faith because they don't have the word. And the reason why they don't have the word is because they don't believe it. They're trying to explain it. Make a new thing out of it. Huh? Amen, they're going to take away the sun. And that one man had enough nerve to say he was the, He's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. He's, 
It can't be, you know, you know, I'm not that smart. But I know one thing, who he was. He's the son of God. And what I'm trying to let you know, not only was he the son of God, he was a member that rep in heaven. Father would go to go. And Bible did say they were one. Did he say it? When he got to say Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and then he said they was one. One. Well, I, I didn't leave that long. Amen. God is just good anyway. Let me just read a little bit more on this full chapter. Amen. I was there either. I'm glad for you, but and we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. God sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. That's where He came from. All right. Say if it was, who that we shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God. Uh-oh. Who that we confess that Jesus huh, is the Son of God. God dwelling. Now, you, you, you want to be saved, you confess that Jesus is the Son of God. <laughs> See how simple that is. Who's ever confessed that he's the Son of God? Huh? And he has, amen. Praise God. Who never shall confess that Jesus, the Son of God, God dwell in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed that the love that God has to us, for God is love. And he had dwelt in love, dwelt in God, for God is love. Herein is our love made perfect, that we might have boldness in their judgment. Boldness. Do you hear what judgment argue? Ain't going to be no hundred, amen, no three or four thousand denominations. It's going to be those that believe that he's the son of God. Those that confess that Jesus is the son of God, those are the ones going to be in hell. That's what he said. That's what he said. Is that what he said? What he said? Who is there which shall confess that Jesus is the son of God, God dwell in him. That's what the Bible said. I didn't say that. The Bible said that. Confess that he's the son of God. God dwell in you. You want Jesus to get in, you got to confess that he's the son of God. Huh. You may change a lot of y'all minds. And you may nothing change, but like you may be like the Republican. You can't pull them away from their privilege. They say if he kills somebody, they still believe he's still. They still vote for him. So some people gonna believe the same thing no matter what go on or what you say. You don't change your mind. They get rid of right here, they still gonna be arguing about the son. He ain't no son. He wasn't no son. Who was it then? Explain him to me. <laughs> the 
If he wasn't, he come here after the son, and he said himself, my father. Said, and I always do those things which are pleasing to my father. He said, for Father, sanctify them through that truth. For thy word is true. Make them one as you and I will one. 17 of your job. Can you say man? Well, what I'm trying to do is you see if we have faith. Now, I'm not arguing with nobody. Nobody don't want to argue with me. But I'm just telling you like it is. We're going to go to the book of Acts. Amen. And I want you to say the 10th verse, 10th chapter uh, of the book of Acts, and Peter would talk to Kenichi. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, of the truth, I perceive that God is no respect person. But in every nation, he that bears him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preach peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. And who said that, that word I said? He know which was perfect throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism of John the Baptist. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost. That's it. When you say, Holy Spirit, you didn't say Holy Spirit, you said Holy Ghost. Let me find it. It's the same. Now, it, it, it may be a possibility to say. Well, that was what it was saying. But you can't get it to be a he. You can try to get it to be a he. Then you can have a problem. If you want to be a he, and Jesus said he, the Holy Ghost called him. He called him a he. Jesus called the Holy Ghost a person. I said, Jesus called the Holy Ghost a person. When he, the Holy Ghost, come, he shall teach you. He shall guide you into all truth. He shall bring things to your remembrance. Now let's make it plain to me. He going to be a, a teacher. A counselor. So he said he's a person with wisdom, knowledge, He's going to be an instructor. Huh? He's going to bring all things to your remembrance. He's going to show you things to come. Huh? So he made them a person. He made them a counselor. They counsel. We call the Holy Ghost a counsel. Uh oh, y'all look at y'all. They don't, 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 don't. The Holy Ghost is a counsel. Huh? He's the one that's able to instruct you in all things. And then he says about the Holy Ghost. He said, Take no thought. When they bring you before the council, take no thoughts of what you should say or what you should think about. Well, in the same hour, the Holy Ghost will speak to you and tell you it's sin. Uh-oh. You brought both counsel and the Holy Ghost within the same hour 
will tell you what's in. Holy Ghost was smart, wasn't it? And you go up there and just go up there for the joy just walking around trying to meditate, meditate on what you're saying. Don't, don't take no thoughts about it. The Holy Ghost is going to tell you what to say. So this is why, amen, praise God, amen, people get mad with the Holy Ghost. You know why they get mad with the Holy Ghost? When you tell them about the Holy Ghost? Because you don't want to tell them that if you get the Holy Ghost, you're going to speak in tongues. The man was on the other day trying to explain, you don't have to have speaking tongue when you get the Holy Ghost. You know, if I didn't know the difference, I got the Holy Ghost. Huh? I know he was down there, the man be that stupid. The fact that you could get the Holy Ghost without tongue, you go out there and buy a car, you don't ask for the wheel, wheel come with the car. By a wagon, you don't have to go there and get your tongue in there. Tongue gonna come with the wagon. <laughs> huh? You went by a car without tired wheels on it. He down there arguing about don't come. We are, you, 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 praise God. If the Holy Ghost, when they, the Bible said, when the day of Pentecost, that full come, they all want to call, they want to pray, the sun, that came a sound of heaven, a rush of the mighty wind, and they fell their clothes and tongues like another fire. Huh. And they, and the house was full of, and they all were filled with what? The Holy Ghost. They got full of them. And they began to speak in other tongues. Now the spirit give utterance. Tongue go with the Holy Ghost. And this is why a lot of times we don't have faith because we don't believe the Bible like it said. You know, we're trying to explain it. And I'm going to explain this. Be a big time. Yeah, whatever you want to be. The word he said, if he had take from his part going to be taken out of his life. He had added and all the prayers going to be added to him. He said, don't add, don't take from. Just say it like it is. Whatever the word of God said, that's what it is. It ain't something different. The word is what it said. And I don't have to argue like you. Oh, praise God, amen. I'm this morning, I'm up here, and I'm going to have to explain how he got to be a son of a seed. Nobody planted a seed. And God just planted a seed in the womb of Mary. Huh? Again, by accident, he got him because uh, 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 God said the Holy Ghost came on him and amen and, and plant a seed. And that, that seed grew and grew and became a baby. And that baby, amen, the Bible says, she shall bring forth a son, they shall call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sin. He'll be a savior of the world. That's who he is. He's the savior of the world. Amen. Y'all get that? And that's why when you read the word of God, you have to read it like it is. And praise God explain it. told you what he said. Jesus come to save you from your sin. Huh? He come to get you out of your mess you be in. Huh? He come to bring the liver to you. Huh? And the Holy Ghost had a part in that thing. Amen. And since the Holy Ghost had a part in it, amen, that holy thing that he was going to bring forth shall be called the Son of the Most High. He was the Son of God. Boy, I looked at this thing one time, looking at the praise of God. Amen. That's why I'm not confused because I just read the word like it is. So. I'm going to argue with these nuts. <laughs> trying to explain it to them. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to explain it to the folks that don't have no understanding. 
You wait your time. Amen. When man is saying amen, you don't need no uh, offering, no money, no nothing. And people take everything. Yeah, one man, Brother Ike, says, God will be you. That's Brother Ike. Y'all know Brother Ike, do God will be in you. He, amen. But anyway, what we need to understand, let me just read just a little more of this, because y'all, amen, might not, might not agree with me. But I'm going to just explain it to you, because you need to know that you need to read the word as it is. And don't let these folks go around here telling you, amen, and Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, same thing. Or you don't speak in tongues. Because the difference in the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, when you get the Holy Ghost, you're going to be shouting around here talking in something. Everybody I know ever got the Holy Ghost, they were speaking in tongues. Magnifying God. People would talk about the Holy Spirit when I got to the Mississippi. They always have talked about the Holy Spirit. And it's right. When you get saved, you have the spirit of Jesus. He said, he that has not the spirit of Christ, he never heals. So you have the spirit of Christ when you get saved. Huh? But when you get baptized with the Holy Ghost, you speak in tongues. And I got out here, but they didn't want me to preach it because they didn't want to hear about the Holy Ghost in tongues. And Jesus, you still don't want to hear about Jesus and Holy Ghost. Two things, if you want to be praised, God said, well, amen, the church didn't change. They hadn't changed. Holding this post changed. They made a compromise. Pentecost went the same way the Baptist, the Methodist, and all those. They start saying the same thing, looking the same, acting the same, dressing the same, doing the same thing. Hey Amen. That, that, that times hadn't changed. People hadn't changed. People who said they were saved have changed. It made people feel better when you go around. Go around with me. And so you go around and say, hey, do you have the Holy Ghost? You go around and say, honey, did you feel the Holy Spirit? They know they've been telling that. They've been telling that for years. Grandma had that. But she hadn't heard about the Holy Ghost. And what the Holy Ghost would do to you. How it would make you dance down the aisle, talk in tongues, speak in tongues, and have a revelation of Jesus Christ. Have a knowledge of God, knowledge of the word of God. That they that they will be able to get a teacher, a building system. That's what they didn't know about. They didn't know about that. But I got to Mississippi, they didn't know about the Holy Ghost. People didn't well, but I ain't talking about false doctrine. <laughs> now we done made them feel comfortable now. Tell them they got everything we got. Y'all got the same thing we got. We all got it. The dictionary said, Western, I don't care what Western said. I know what I got. I got that old fashioned tongue talking Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm trying to tongue talk. Hey Amen. I, I don't know how many of y'all around here tongue talker, but I'm a tongue talker. I believe in tongue talking. That would change me in the Holy Ghost. Power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, believing that he had the power to bring deliverance. Power to bring healing. Power to set you free. That Jesus Christ, amen, was the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's a miracle worker. Huh. 
And if I got the Holy Ghost, I'd have enough power to believe that he could do what he said. That's the only way to believe it. I know you said, what you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about if you get three wives on your house, you believe it'll do it, don't you? You get the Holy Ghost in Jesus, you believe he'll do it, don't you? Don't you believe he can do what he said he'd do? You got the power. And Jesus himself put it like this, but he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come up on him. You're going to get some power. This is what we all need some power. Who will say you don't need power? One of us in here today was said we didn't need power. Yes, one of y'all just jumped up. I need I don't need no power. I don't need no power. But I don't tell you what you extract from it. The one thing, if you had no strength, you wouldn't get out of that seat. You you call it power or strength. If you would be able to get up and you would have something. And ain't nobody wanna get amen, lose the power they have. Hey Amen. You don't want to lose where you can't get up and down. You're talking about power. And this is what it's all about. It's to make you strong. Help you do what you can do. Help you do what you're supposed to do. Help you to be a man. Full man. Woman. That's what the Holy Ghost is all about. Make you. Somebody said, what is it for? Is it to make you a woman? To make you a man? Help you to be able to stand on your own two feet? Help you to get what you wanted? Huh? Help you to get what you want? Amen. That's what power for. Amen. You ain't praise God. You don't need power. You shouldn't have went to school. But everybody right here fighting power. All the government fighting power, male fighting power, all these folks fighting power. Want power. Amen. Everybody want power for the church. Church don't want no power. In the world, they fight for power. That's why these folks run off and they fight for power. Amen. That's why, amen, uh, uh, Trump tried to hold on me. He want power. He probably have power. That way he want power. He want to be a ruler. Hallelujah. Come on, this is why people want to be a ruler. They want to be ruled or something. Can you say that again? And the church is not here talking, we, amen, don't take all that. The only thing in the world people want the church people talk about, they don't take all that. Everybody else said we need more. Need power. Huh? You need power to get going, to get this thing going. And I believe that we ought to seek God for power. Huh? Get up, amen. Don't stop seeking for power. Amen. I know most of you right here, young people, don't know nothing about the Holy Ghost, but I think you ought to start saying, Lord, give me power. Give me some Holy Ghost power. Huh? Give me, the, you know, <laughs> give me some power to help me to stand up. And then he said, give me some power to help me to be bold. Not a coward. So God, you know what I'm saying? The song, God can't use a coward soldier. Oh, well, God can't use a scary man. Scary woman. So you need to have some bold, some guts. To be able to stand up, be counted as a man, a woman. Huh? That's why I say that he have me have boldness. Boldness. You need boldness, huh? You need boldness in the time. You need boldness in God. You need boldness against the works of the devil. To tell, let the devil know, amen, that God is God. That he's a powerful God, a mighty God. That God can do anything. You need some power. Yes, Lord. Need some of that good old Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. I don't know about you, but I thank God for power. Power. 
I like, I like power, honey. I like power. Thank God for power. What power make you do? Power make you feel good. Man said, I went to church one night. My heart wasn't right. Something got a hold to me. It must have been the Holy Ghost. It made me act. Act. Yes, Lord. Somebody say, you made me feel good. Made you feel good, y'all, that way you hey. I feel good. So good. So good. Have you ever felt good? Have you ever felt the real power? Have you ever felt the real Holy Ghost? The real power. Ow! Power. Ow! Power. 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 My God, power. Some got a hold to me. Some made me feel good. power. Somebody said it made me run out. It made me damn my shoes off. It made me think in tongues. But then somebody said I just felt the power. It made me move. Move in power. I said move in power. And y'all need some moving power. Somebody said, I need to be moved. You need some moving power. You need some hallelujah power. You need some praise the Lord power. You need some glory to God power. You need some real Holy Ghost power. Real anointed power. Real anointed Y'all feel all right? How many feel the power? How many feel some power? How many feel you got it? Huh? You feel you got it? How many feel you got the Holy Ghost? You got some real power out there. Come on, how many can feel it? How many can feel it? If you can feel it, y'all raise your hands and say, I feel it! Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Can you feel anything? If you can't feel nothing, you ought to shake yourself. Shake yourself. See, you're still alive.
shake yourself. Yell and shake yourself. Shake yourself. Woo! Kind of wave your hands a little bit. He's all right. He's all right. I know he's all right. I tried it. Have y'all ever tried God? Have you ever tried God? How many tried God out there? Try to wave your hands. You ought to run down. Bring it run down to him. Do something if you try it. Yes, I did. Wow. He's all right. I know he's all right. I tried God. I tried God. Tried it from a doctor. How many of you tried it for a doctor? Have you ever been your doctor? Have you ever been your doctor? I tried God for my doctor. Have you ever been your doctor? And have you ever been your doctor? Have you ever been your doctor? Have you ever tried it for a doctor? Have you ever tried it for a lawyer? Have you ever tried it? Did it come to your rescue? Did God come to your rescue? Did God have your prayer? Did God have your prayer? Did God have your prayer? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Did it. Yes, he did. God, we thank you for your blessing, your kindness, love, and tender compassion. Another day and another hour with divine goodness and mercy been over us today. Bless God. Deliver God. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
the Lord.